It is lagging. Sorry about that. What is all this shit? Oh, I'm gonna move everything around. Hold on. Cause I'm a dummy. You got a hook? Okay, there we go. So, I don't know much about this game. It's just the one that chat picked via Twitter, so hopefully it's not too scary because me and scary games are not the greatest. Pairing ad, why? Oh no, never mind, okay. Oh shit, hold on. See, I know they say to have it so it's game capture, but it's really annoying to have to keep changing which game it's supposed to be capturing. No? Can't even see my cat ears. They don't show up very well, do they? So how is uh, all the construction? The updates in your wiring. Is that all done yet? Are you going to be streaming soon? Oh god, did it crash? Lord, what's up? Um, hmm. Alright, let's try this. Pretty sure the game crashed. Hold on. Display. Can't sleep. Oh, you're going to sleep stream later tonight. Very cool, very cool. Um, hmm. So our game crashed. That's not at all what I was trying to do. Ugh, will they be back tomorrow? Rude. That's... Hmm. What's the stream without a little scuff, right? The god of the entire internet. Great. That's exactly... Um... What you needed to get. Let's try this again. Confirm exited game. So let's turn game capture off. Why can't you see my desktop now? Display. This one? What if we move this up? Display. No? No. So a giant fuck you. Okay. Got it. Emotional damage! Yes, emotional damage. They added a porch light. I'm sad. Now it will look... dumb to add a light to the lamp post too. Oh, hey look. I hear music now. That's... Better. But it's still not on screen. So, turn this off. Sweet Peter, I swear to God. Game capture. There we go. All right. Adjust the slider until the image is barely visible. You know what? We're going with that. Not getting me jump scares. Alright, let's go on our day to the park, shall we? Uh, has 
Has anybody played this game? The park is a narrative experience, best played in a dark room wearing headphones. Deals with such matter that may be disturbing to some players. Oh, lovely. In the course of play, may manipulate graphics, audio, control setting, and your sanity. It's perfectly normal. Shouldn't be a cause for alarm or psychiatry. Okie dokie. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Nose holes. Where's Holy Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Ah, the secret world. Stay in the that car. was a good game. We'll go Played and ask information. For oh, now we have control. Stay there, you little brat. Hey, they have bingo. Hell yeah. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Please. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Press interaction. Uh, can I run? Is there a run button? Or are we just going to be waddling this whole time? Can you this way? Let me in. Yeah. Oh god, the game's too smart for me. Click, 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 click. Okay, alright. Oh, haha! <laughs> Let's go talk to this asshole. There we go. We'll figure it out. Man, mommy needs you to lay off the psycho psychedelic drugs. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine! Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Wait, wait, wait. How the hell did he get in? Press to shut Colin. Callum? Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Catch me, mommy. No. Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Solomon Island, I fell deeply in love with its natural beauty. Scenic place, and I created many new, I'm sorry, many of my best memories here. Okay. I'm sure that was important information that I did not. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. This way. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. Uh, what on is this going side, on with this escalator? The apathy of our everyday lives. Okay, on okay. The other, Enjoy your food. Anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Uh... Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Over here. That little shit. What happened up here? Oh God, the park. What happened here? Come back. Oh, thank God. There's a run button. Come back, Callum. Oh. Daddy, get me out of the park, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, Callum! You little shit, get back here. 
Oh, I don't like clouds. Can we not? Yeah, that would that would fucking happen to me too. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. This way, mommy. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Come on, this way. This way, which way? Oh, you played a blur. <laughs> why Why would you bring her out of the ice soon? <laughs> Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it, but... Uh, Sam and Shoe. Callum! Over here! How I think in? this belongs to Callum. Yeah, it looks like it. I got me a shoe. His name is Flash. Chad the Chipmunk, huh? Chad Just the Chipmunk. Just a drunk guy in a suit. You got a little bit of blood on you there, Chad. Chad the Chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. Chad the Chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Fabulous. Oh. Weird. Okay. Uh, yeah. Come out, sweetie. Come on, mommy. This kid's gonna get the worst ass whooping of his life. What's this? Purchase the island. The land on Solomon Island. For pittance, I might add. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals. Just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this island, or this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers. I bet it fucking does. You were confused? Was it about the Christmas? I know, right? The Christmas was like, wait, did I fuck up my alerts? Are they the Christmas ones? I dismissed him shortly after, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Park, I'm sorry, Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I can't imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. My dear, I think... This is gonna end pretty terrible. Oh, it's a toggle. Come back, Callum. Over here. Over here, where are you, old shit? Where are you? Come on, mommy. Uh, you hear that? That's that's not good. Callum, where did you go? Ferris wheel, Octotron, Bumper Cars, House of Horrors, on, The Tunnel Tales, Sideshow Alley, and Roller Coaster. What the fuck was that? Callum? <laughs> Callum, stay where you are! Stay where he is where? the hell is he? What is that? Just garbage, I guess? Uh-huh. Callum? Where'd you go? Hmm. Thanks for ruining the love boat for me. I appreciate that.
My friend is in a bathtub with a bunch of water and some hot tea and some ice cream for a few minutes before they go out to dinner with cheese on car. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel really and Gretel that. overheard really their parents that. talking and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. What was bread? The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel oh, leaves a trail fuck? of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. Mm -hmm. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their Oops, parents' very, house. Very quiet. I don't see nothing. No After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh, Jesus. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Oh no! Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest. Money, 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 screwed in Flanders. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. Oh, God, we're eating walls. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around. Yay, yeah, so we triggered it. Oh, Thank you, Thor. dear children. You here. Just the hottest Halloween babe ever. With me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Why does my duck have red come, bird children, eyes? Don't be afraid. I have something for you. <sighs> the old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. I am waiting for something to like jump out and, and scare the piss eat. out of me. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Inside the house, the old woman changed. <laughs> she stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping. Cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a Got good a mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. That's not creepy at all. 
Time passed, and poor Hansel though. refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew in Daddy, get me out of the barn, Daddy. Gretel. Climb inside this is the part. and light the oven. Where the Gretel fuck did Chad go? Not to understand. Uh, I do I not know how. Go. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, "The opening is here," and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door Don't to the oven. I heard it. It's Chad. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged. The children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. That sounds, um... And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. I, I, I don't believe that's how the story goes. But, uh... Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna need out. Get the fuck up out of this duck. Swan thing. Go. Oh, we're not going around too. Let me out. Let's go find this badass kid. Fucking possessed ass duck. Callum, where did you go? Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. That's Not weird. mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach the cross. Cocaine. Where did you go? Um... Callum, where are you? Who the hell at this point calls their son? In that calm of a manner. Another accident. This place. That seems, um... No! Duff. Is that the goddamn bear I'm looking for? Damn it. Damn. Oh, fuck. Where's Chad? Say we leave the kid. I'm ready for this pizza warm up. Hell yeah! What kind of pizza? Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park be opening on time. The governor booked is booked to cut the ribbons, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the banned writings of Archie Henderson. Man, we meant bad things about this dude. Why are you reading his writings? 
It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. Haha, <laughs> it said taint. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this has been all for nothing. I'm surprised that didn't call the murder chipmunk. Where are you? Sausage and pepperonis? Hell yeah. Okay, I don't think the kid is going to whisper. Tell him! Got it for lunch, but nothing to God, this room is a dark lake. Not gonna lie. This would not be good. Where are you? Callum. Tell mommy where you are. Before I beat your ass. Stop! Callum! Stop Callum what? <laughs> Come to mommy, Callum. I'm beginning to think Callum is not real. No murder ducks. We should be good. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It used to make me dizzy. What is with the mouth on that thing? You see that, guys? Huh? Ah. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Um. We were waiting for our turn on the ride, Frank, me, and the boys. The fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. It's not. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making an animal, like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice, but the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions, something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster, like you were prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. And then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then he went berserk. That escalated quickly. <laughs> For a few moments it was chaos. Everybody's running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab, stab, stabbing with ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. The last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. What? No, I don't want to read it again. Yeah, okay, okay. Well... Callum, stay where you are! Where the hell is this kid at? Are we gonna have to get on this ride? Where did you go? Okay, hold on. Something over here. Examine Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. What is with that face? That kid did not want to be here and she got this look of like stick in the ass or something. Can't get on while it's moving. I mean, why would you want to get on in the first place? Increase decrease speed? I gotta decrease it again?
Oh my god, did you just stop already? Can I get on this way? I can't get on while it's moving. Oh fuck, of course not. Jump, bitch! Okay. Now. Okay. We got this. How scary can this be, right? Whee! Oops. Sorry, Mike. Why are we riding this when we're looking for our son? What the? Not as scary as it could have been. Food! Excellent. Oh man, if you have a Culver's near you, they have a hot honey cheese curd. I'm not 100% sure what the point of all that was, but here we go. Hello? I don't like whispering. It's scary. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Why are you playing this whole time? It's called Culver's. I don't know if they're just like local to North Carolina or what. No, don't walk. Wait, hold on. I'm discombobulated. We gotta go this way. They also have butter burgers? Oh man. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, oh, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, so, and so real. far from my expectations. So real. And he shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. Can I go in the water? All of the love that we shared, all of the nope. warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Bathroom, you think? What do you think's in there? Ah, there's a page there. I will read that. Oh, Christ. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but in the end of the season here really drags. There aren't many tourists around, and so much so most of the staff spend their day standing around gossiping. Most of the gossip is about Chad. I mean Steve? See? I mean, I'm starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's a goddamn suit. It is a goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush, as Chad the chipmunk, child-friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. <laughs> but the, mo the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. First was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him at Susie's diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained, discreetly, to the park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by. Apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him. Puking up in a, gut in a gutter outside of Cycle Station. Because he was sure in hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Guys. Those shapes he makes in the ice though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me. And he would just hung out for a while. 
I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up. I, I fucking mean, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Wait for mommy! No. No. Bitch, run. Ain't you looking for your son? Run. What the fuck is that thing? Can I read that? What the hell are these mascots, man? A chipmunk of... Uh, what the fuck is that? Wait, Callum! Why are we walking? Oh. Oh, rubber cars. Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. It floats this girl's boat. Can I go through? No. Oh. Ooh, can I have that? Gimme. Damn it. Just can't have anything nice. Fucking teddy bear in this one. Okay, yeah, I guess that's not. Oh, we don't get to play bumper cars? Dang. The weird music glitching is very weird. Shit about to follow me. Give me the fucking butt to me. Where's my eighties music? I'm just checking to see if there's anything in any of these. Oh, maybe like the one with the and headlights on. That one. I'm not running my ass over. Maybe you are. Hold on. Examine accident report. Good god, what happened here? Did you grab it? Employee name Francis do take a ride. I didn't take a ride in a bumper card. Date and time, October 25th, 1976. Laborers on the crane. During the transport of the bumper cars to the arena, one of the straps attached to the load on the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directly, standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Yay, bing bong for K. Bing bong, bing bong. Francis, description of any injuries caused, Francis was killed. Did the injured employee see a doctor? How could he see a doctor? He was dead. If yes, did you find an employee's portion of the workers' compensation form? Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent this accident? Double checking the straps. After transit, it should be mandatory and drug screening for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. Excellent. Additional comments. The local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. 
Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the spirits. just in case anybody was curious. I can like move now. Let's go chase the runaway car. That sounds like a good idea. Can't say shit. Where are you, Callum? I'm sorry, is that a baby? No timer still? I know. It's on my sticky note though. Look, look, look. See? Bing bong timer. I just forgot to look at it. So. Good intentions? I'm really not digging this noise. Poor life decisions. Let's do it. My big ass got stuck in the door. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. That's Judgment. So he wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead, my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Uh, are they. Are. You wanted me to get on that. I. I. Uh, mm. Do we have to? Last time I got near a window, fucking scared the shit out of me. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders. Problem is that they are locals, and so they believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those hills. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools crossing themselves against black magic. Of course, that's why I chose the site over all the other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus of dark energies, and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth. Here, it makes my skin crawl. We called in a few flavors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they could had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I'm missing. Okay, me again. Right. I swear to God, I keep hearing footsteps. Alright, so we've been to two. Yes, three. We've been to three technically. Tunnel tails, the Octatron, and the bumper cars. Now we're at the. Excuse me. Yeah, no harm going on crazy abandoned shit. That's cool. Like, watch 
to my little pony or something after this. What happens if I increase speed? If I just say fuck it. Open a break or something. Whatever. Let's go make me get on this fucking ride. The worst part is there's a fair. The, the state fair is coming. Yeah, I didn't fix that either. Oh god. Can we not? Let's not. Nobody's questioning how these rides start back up. Oh yeah. Why are you riding these things? I don't understand this. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. <clears throat> After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. Oh, Jesus. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. Oh. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment that we're in and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Oh man. It's going right over there. Oh, is that the Octatron? That's where we were on, right? Let me off. That was that was enough for me. Oh god, what the fuck? I know, right? Super salty. Where'd he go? Mommy can't stop riding rides, Callum. Callum? Callum! She's addicted to the ride. What the fuck is there a baby for? Mommy is coming, Callum! Oh, there's no jump button. Okay. Well, alright then. Callum, why did you go? Oh, don't, don't, don't. Oh. 
Kick roller coaster ticket from a possessed doll? Sad my emotes. Oh, the. Yeah, the ones that got recorded. That was lame. I don't know why this is kind of glitchy. Come on, computer, you can do it. Look, see, even my A lot computer. of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My hey, angel likes to read. And little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> Why are we, we looking for Callum if this insane. is the case? Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. Oh, That's no. called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything. You know what grinds my gears? It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. You's a salty bitch. Holy shit. Ma'am, are you alright? Don't be afraid. I I am Stay where you are! Who are you talking to, ma'am? Like... Do I need to do this? Have we not learned our lesson Nobody's with these other to write this one. Never got around to do it before. You crazy fucking bitch. Are you alright? Ah... Uh, we might have. Mm-mm. I don't want to. I hate fucking roller coasters in real life. <sighs> Let's do it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm such a weenie. I can't ride roller coasters. What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What Which do you mean? One? Who are you talking to? What have you done to him? Oh. I. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything oh. that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Oh. Where is Callum? What the fuck? Poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. Which has him now? Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Bad mushrooms. <laughs> Acid, yeah, that's what it is.
anything in here we can look at? Aha, there is. It works. The calculations adjustments work. The transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day. And uh, if only these people knew what they were fueling. And so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling dour? Is that how you spell that? Alright. So what if the children are more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality, and such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. Ooh, okay. I'm trying to see what was on the cup. flashlight. No. Can we take the hatchet? The witch awaits. The can we can we take that's the skinniest little hatchet I have ever seen. Can't use it, but we got it. Alright. Okay. Are you gonna let me out now? That's kind of Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. I think Goku doesn't sick. want to answer me. Oh no! Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night. He tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites my better. fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. Who? They are taking my baby away from me. But you just talked I about can't leaving save him. him. There will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Come back! Keep them away from me! Callum? Callum! Oh, there's gonna be clowns in here. Fucking clowns. I'm scared of clowns, goddammit. There's gonna be clowns out here. This lady needs to be locked in a padded room. On that note, I'm gonna look the away. The whole town was shocked by that one. Cotton Never candy found corpse. out who did it. The sour taste. Cotton candy corpse? Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. Oh, you don't like clowns either? Ugh. I yeah, know. Not a clown person. According to local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified, however, they have confirmed the remains to appear to be those of a child. Lovely. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy. Ah, look at that! That's Italian. Who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel went to the owner of Atlantic Island Park. I don't know why that's hard for me to say has released the following statement. It is true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a space that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offers their condolences to the family and friends of the victims and will cooperate fully with the authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide a daily updates on the story going forward. Please don't let there be clowns. Please don't let there be clowns. What the fuck was that? Oh god. Oh no. No, son. Oh god. Hmm. 
wonder if that's where we need to go. Oh my god. Oh, there's a corpse in there. Okay, yay. Pickled punks? Nope, 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 nope. Whack a jack. Giggity. What is that? What is that? What is that? No, 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 no. Oh, God. This is not okay. Management is not responsible for diseases contracted via the kissing room. Okay, random and weird, but all right. Mm -mm. God, God, why? Why is it always clowns? It's always clowns. It's always clowns. <sighs> oh. Oh, is that a monkey? Oh, God. It's a clown. It's a motherfucking clown. What? What? Oh, come on, stop that shit. Is that a dead kid? I don't think my anus can be any more clenched. Oh, bastard. Who did this to him? Oh, oh, we're just gonna sit there and stare at it? Okay. Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Jesus Christ! Fuck, we get back at this bitch. Soul does not want to be here anymore. Run, motherfucker. Oh, okay. Well, we can't push the gate open. Yeah, sh I should have gotten one of those heart rate monitor things. I could see my heart rate be skyrocketed. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, okay. Now what? Why would you let me out? I just want to leave. Obviously, there's still something we need to do, but I don't know what at this point. Things are about to get a little weird. Yeah, no shit. Chad, can you, can you not? I can help you, Callum. All the breadcrumbs. What fucking breadcrumbs? Like, really don't want to go back down here, guys. Like, this is the only thing I can consider a breadcrumb. But, like, there's nothing to do. I can't click on anything. Oh god, I thought he was going to be behind us again. I'm not going to lie to you.
Ah, take pills. That's what I want to do, is take random fucking pills in the middle of a horror shit. Fuck it, we already yeah. had an acid trip. Might as well. These are mine. Oh, okay. Well, she's used to these then. Off gravity? Okay. Don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. That's actually kind of cute. Are you better off than you were years, four years ago? All that love will be carried away. Not safe. I can taste your dreams. Hmm, they taste like cotton candy? Only dead fish flow with the stream. Your mother. Clearly she has st has high standards. I know, I keep thinking about your cotton candy machine. Say no to graffiti. What's it say? Sheriff Bannerman is a fat pig. But his daughter is hot. Alright, that's fair. Can I go this way? What the hell is that thing, you think? Floating... bed? Oh, man. Are those... Sh are, you are you sure those pills are yours? My dear? That guy's a good guy. What do you think? Oh, do we gotta go back down there? Okay, teddy bear's got us into this trouble. Don't touch me! Drugs are too strong, man. Callum, I'm sorry. Our boogeyman guy is gone. Nice, man. Mommy, I'm scared. Go right next to me. Go. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, God, no. Oh, is that your Discord? Oh, okay. Why is my shit going crazy? That's fine. What a strange trip it's been. Yeah, I bet. This is a weird game, and I don't know how I feel about it. Yep, not going back in there. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. <sighs> and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, yeah. the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Well, there was less clowns in there than I thought there was going to be, so I'm, I'm appreciative of that. 
So we are back where we started, basically, right? Is that the entrance? Can you run, please? You're in there, aren't you? I don't want to go in there, guys. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Okay, hold on. Give me one second. Yoink. I'm going to silence your server for a minute. I don't know what to play tonight. I need to. I read that it's bread my bees and got really fucking confused. Bread my bees. What does that mean? I haven't even had anything to drink, so I don't even know what to tell you on that one. Mute server for an hour. There we go. Not that. Maybe. Minecraft. I need help. Yeah, I, I figured it out when I, you know, saw collect balls. I was like, yeah, I know what that is. No worries. Have a good night. Sleepy tight. I don't want to go in there. Calla, where are you? All right. Look, I know we. I know we have a flashlight. Okay, that scared the hell out of me. Like, man, we have to do this in the dark. It's a new jacket, and it's like not worn in yet, so it's kind of annoying. God, fuck my life. This is gonna suck so hard. I hate flashlight games. Because that's when the spooky, spooky shit comes out. Chad's gonna be in here. You watch. Who was that? Is that Chad there? Y'all see it? The motherfucker stand there? <sighs> we knew this. We're brave. Sort of. Uh, we're not brave. I'm not brave. Mm. Repage. I, oh, it's it's a cutout. Okay. Oh, is that the dude we're seeing? Done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. Mach machines lay silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston and have retreated here to the House of Horrors, I must think. Sir, are you alright? What the fuck is that? Oh no, no, no. Nathaniel Winter welcomes you to Atlantic. Yeah, that's gotta be him. The dude that rode behind us. Bing, bing bong for K. Bing bong, bing bong. A 
quasi. You're so funny. Fuck you, guy, and your cardboard cutout. Why does that look like a leg? Oh, it's an arm. every part of this just so you guys know. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Everything's perfect. This is this is this is a walk in the park. Keep your ass there. We got this, we got this, we got this. Why are there... Excuse me, are you moving? Like, I bet you I should be calling out for Colin, but at the same time, I am totally not trying to. Donna! God damn it. Books. Books are scary. Ooh, written word. Mm -mm -mm, I told you, I, this is like the worst part of the game. Yep, 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 yep. We are good. We are peachy. We are golden. I ain't scared of shit. Can't read these. She screamed. That was her, not me. But now she's making me panic because she's breathing all weird. That's kind of weird looking. Very war hammery. I've already seen you disappear. Don't touch me. Okay, we apparently can't run anymore. Oh, hey, do you see him? I see him. Fuck this asshole. You better keep your ass over there. Mm, please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Go, 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 go. Why are we walking so slow? Holy shit. Ah, uh, what? What was that? Oh, that's a wall, you dumbass.
Can y'all stop with the noises? Like, holy shit. There's something behind here. Or he's gonna fall. times. Oh god, there's two options. Which way do we go? Uh. What the fuck was that? No, 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 no. This was not the right way. Sir, did you just change positions? Oh, hey, look, blood. Pretty sure he changed positions. Keep your ass over there. Wait a minute. to the red zone. about to jump out and scare the shit out of me. There's a hook hanging there. Is that gonna pop up? God damn it, I knew it was gonna do that. I knew that. Gonna pop up there, right? I hate flashlight games. In this game, I didn't even know. <gasps> oh, what do I hate this game? It's so funny with the jump scares. You silly, really. 
booze. It's a new one. So focused on that one, you didn't see that one coming. Okay, um, nothing spooky about this, right? That might be a fire hazard. You might want to get that fixed. Of course, the door I need to go to is inside a giant clown's mouth. Why wouldn't it be, right? Alright, you know what? Hold on, this calls for emergency chocolate. This is, this is serious. Everybody knows the best kind of chocolate is dark chocolate. Or Reese's. Reese's trumps dark chocolate. But when you have just straight chocolate, dark chocolate is the way to go. Excellent. Let's just knock over everything into my desk. Perfect. Meant to do that. I'm prepared for tomorrow because I'm not sure how much sleep I'm going to get. So we'll see. Okay. Chocolate eaten. All right, here we go. Do I have to? It's always in a basement. Rude. Or, you know, courteous, one of the two. the kind of things I don't want to do. I think so. Okay, door doesn't open. Ha, ah, fuck you, door. We all know it's going to be the one at the end. Are we in our house now?
Nightmare Circus. The circus burns to the ground on the opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of town folks, just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Oh, cool. I didn't know I could turn it. Very, very cool. Let's see. Lucky Star Cigarettes? After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum, did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Hmm. Disconnect notice. After multiple attempts to collect payments, we regret to inform you the service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make a payment listed on your last bill. Contact us at... And we can make an arrangement... A uh, payment plan... Arrange a payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you leave this in error, call us to discuss your options. If you're unable to make a payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Do not face it with electricity. Dunwich Power Company. Is that that damn bear? Shocking true story. Hunger. True story of the Donners. On April 16th, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500 mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sup. It was one of the greatest tragedies the Western migration the world has ever seen. Now our panel of Donner experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive the terrible winter. In this never before seen expose, read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages of this a shocking true story. I think that you can like pick it up and rotate it. Oops. King fan. Hey look, King, you're in the game. I'm gonna assume this is where the kids slept. Did you see it? You were in the game. Come back, I'll show you. See? King, you're in the game. What's this? The wilting. With this novel, Susan Anscombe cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of the generation. The wilting, a solar flare struck the earth, millions of people uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searched desperately for a way to stop global overheating. An exotic dancer named Chance O'Hare is the key to saving the world again. Solve it? No, okay. Oh, now that's just sweet. Looks like I hear something, but I think it's part of the game. I 
guess we're going to the next room. I guess we went to the zoo. Shop, read shopping list, okay. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Always the fish sticks. Remember, drop off Kalim, electrici electricity bill, fix faucet. Girlfriend, I'm gonna need you to like, keep the counters clean. What the fuck? Why are we just. Can I pick it up and do something with it? Can I shut that fucking water off? What a waste. Alright. Even my kitchen don't look that bad. You open that door? Nope. You open that door? Apples, eggs, wine, and oh, cover your chicken legs in the fridge. Like, damn. Don't you know the first bit of food safety? Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father of all those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write me asking for help. I have another family now, and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I love you, I truly did. But every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart. But I'm needing to, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. That's not fucked. I'm assuming Karen was mom. Miss Mailer. As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note you should discontinue any medication you've been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you're suffering from a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health. Dr. Spencer, Dunwich Medical. Keep clicking the wrong way. Ah, oh, kids leaving the damn TV on again. Wait for something to pop out and get me. Good lord, that's tiny. Okay. Mrs. Mallard, our inquiry into the state of Donner, uh, Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that. The primary beneficiaries of the state, including the life insurance settlement for the accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as a regard to the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Oh man, even more fucked. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof or biological relationship, they considered you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact you regarding this matter. I understand that this may have some negative effect on your current financial situation and hope that I'm not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that's funny. That's horrible funny. All right. Don't leave me. Oh good, another basement. This looks really familiar. Like we had been here.
Oh, hey. This looks... vaguely familiar. Did we fuck up and not go somewhere? Wait, everything's in the wrong spot. Zolith. <laughs> it's a cute. This didn't change, right? Nightmare Circus. The park, it was wait, wait, waiting on a child for take, take, taken. Losing joy for bait, bait, baiting. That sounds gross. While their mother's mind is breaking. What? Shit has changed. Is there something over here? No. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know. I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from home and I'm working so hard. Every day, working at the park, it gets worse. Like a spring inside my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're, we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind but when this job is done we need to get out of this place we need to go back to the city where i don't feel like this anymore i love you donald yes i was thinking about nish for boys or girls i was i like callum for a boy and emma if it's a girl ah so he worked on the park and he died in the park well that we can't interact with again what is that what's that say In the spring of 1933, the so <clears throat> in the Soviet Ukraine, the entire population found themselves without food. Over the course of the coming months, the situation grew critical and reports of mass malnutrition began to filter into... <coughs> Excuse me. I had chocolate stuck in my throat. A filter into the upper echelons of government. The people had been left with very little... I'm not wiggling this, by the way. My hands... Very little to bite or suck. It has become one of the greatest tragedies of mass starvation the world has ever seen. Now a panel of Soviet experts have uncovered compelling evidence that families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive the terrible winter. Uh, and never for seen expose read about how the starving parents cooked and ate their own children in order to survive. I think that's a bit different. Hey, King's back. What up, King? And interact with the hat again. Oh, Christ. I hope I'm not supposed to remember this. Let's see. This is gonna be a puzzle. We're fucked if it's a puzzle. So I can't figure puzzles out to save my ass. Who's this? Oh, this stayed the same. Oh, hey, look at that. With this novel, Lorraine cements the place as one of the most important science fiction writers of the generation. An exotic dancer named Lorraine is the key to saving the world again. Interesting. I can short that shit off. Wait, didn't we just see this? Man, maybe you should take some of these pills. I don't know what they do, but... Uh, is that our kid? That looks like a kid. Like, I'm scared to call out to him? This shit's gonna pop out? Please, make me see. Whoa! Take the pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organize babysitter for Callum. Zoloft prescription. It looks like the only thing that's changed. There's a lift, excuse me.
Cooking bombs. I can't interact with my chart here. I guarantee this is going to be locked, right? Yeah, okay. What do you think? Oh, that, that shit going to be looking right. See, this is why you cover that shit. And you cook it in a timely manner. Oh, speaking of which, I need to figure out how to get camera set up, but roses, fondant roses and shit, I should be able to do that soon. Now that I have, you know, a decent kitchen to do it in. Okay. Why am I examining the wine? I can't move with it. I can't do anything with it. Hmm. That door still doesn't open. I didn't run away, Dad took me. Hey, do you remember those things? Nothing was fucked about that. Nothing there. Wait, isn't this the same one? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Whoops, sorry. But the pictures are blacked out. Ten bucks says it leads to stairs. Hey. Chipmunk goes stab, stab, stabbing in the eyes, uh, jab, jab, jabbing. And then the all the townies go gab, gab, gabbing. Just lie down and let it happen. Basil ganglia win? Mmm. Looks like a lot of pills there, man. Oh, that doll has no head. Making this less and less. Oh, Jesus. The fuck was that? Hold on, one of my kids may be out. Give me one second, guys. Hopefully, it's one of the kids. Is alternative not be good.
about that, guys. Alright. So, baby doll has no head, right? There's a damn bear. Oh, this is the shocking true story of Hansel and Gretel now. A long time ago, in a forest in the woods, there lived a woodcutter, his wife, and his two children, a boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. This story has been doctored to hide the truth from the unsuspecting public. Now our panel of fairy tale experts have uncovered the compelling evidence that Hansel and Gretel were in fact eaten alive. This is never before seen expose read about how their parents inexpertly tried to cover it up by telling stories about a witch and a house made of candy. All here in the pages of the shockingly fake story. <sighs> okay. Pat's gone. This isn't a great change. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's probably not good. That looks like blood. Oh, that looks like a lot of blood. That looks like wet blood. Why? Hmm. Man. Hand, bloody handprints and shit on it. At least this is the same, right? This one has got so many fucking pills. Ah, uh, whoa. Milk, Zolif, cheese, Zolif, bread, Zolif. Whoa, lots of Zolif. More pills. Tickets to Atlantic Island Park. There's so many pills. Chicken's gone. At least they threw that shit out, right? Alright. I don't know why I'm bothering to check the drawer, but. or the door. Okay, now it's blurry and ripped in half. The history of Solomon Island. That's it. It's hard for me to tell if these are changing because it's so tiny. It feels like I'm sitting different on my screen, but whatever. Yeah, I can't, I can't read that. It's too much wiggling. Oh, 
Oh, hey, it's a dude. He drew us a pretty picture. That was so nice of him. It's better than what the note did say. Oh, look. More stairs. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Yo. Oh, they're just baby dolls. Okay. Wicked man goes walk, walk, walking, sneak, stealing, a stock, stalking. Sneaking, stealing, a stock, stock, stalking. Is he really a talk, talk, talking? Now is not the time for balking. Cerebral cortex win. I can do without all the babies. Hunger the story. Woodcutter's dead, the witch always wins, the woodcutter... Oh yeah. All here in these pages of this broken story. Okay. I guess this is him and I? My two best friends, Don and Laura. I could do without that music. I'm so bad at turning these. The sun will, will, a sun will struck the earth. Millions of cattle are uprooted from their homes. A young shadow searches desperately for a way to stop the global domination. An exotic dancer lifts in the rain is the key to saving the world again. Rain, we are watching. You better believe that she is bigger, better, and bolder than ever. Dynamic, exciting, irrepressible. Everything we've come to expect. Answer us, Lorraine. Guys, this is not cool. Why are we examining it so close? Like, holy shit, is this close enough to our face? Say she will die. No, she. Okay, see her try. Say bye bye. No, oh, it's not fucked. That's me, man. Let's put that the fuck back down. I hate every part of this music, by the way. are alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. Okay, yeah, okay. That, that all sounds legit. Oh, there's baby head in the pot. I'm thinking cook those. Shit's falling off the wall, man. What the fuck? Doll in the oven. Oh, hey, it's that ice pick. Can I take it? No, of course not. Fucking, of course not. Oh, man. 
why are you gonna burn that picture? Okay, guys, we're okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. What a mighty god, a mighty god, a mighty god, a mighty god, a mighty god. No. Oh, no. You don't have a flashlight, bitch. No. No. Get the fuck up out of there. Smack the snot out of whoever made this game. This mode is reading Today we consider you to be batshit fucking insane. Okay, so now the doctors agree with us, right? Let's be clear, you're no way sound of mind, body, and you are a danger to everybody around you. Please note that your only escape did from this should be drugs. A shitload of them. Smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous. Take them any way you can, as often as you can. That shit can only make your life better. In case there's any doubt, you are suffering a relapse and nobody really cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up. Dr. Spock. He seems less helpful than the other guy. He didn't color in the lines. Damn it, this is serious. I'm about to quit. I'm about to lie to you. Or not. Babies are gone. Lorraine, Lorraine, I need you to focus on what we are discussing. The chipmunk killer, Steve Gardner. He was locked away for what he did to those kids. Nathaniel Winter has been seen for years, but he is nowhere near the Atlantic part. You've established this, you know this. Is that our picture in it now? We are talking. Can you hear us, Lorraine? The killing. The sun will be devoured. Our cattle will be enslaved. The shadow lies on your future, our dominion. If you're listening, Lorraine, you are key to damning, to damning the world. We are irre irrepressible. You can only join us, Lorraine. Lorraine, we are one. See her lie. See her try. 
see him cry. Say bye bye. Bye bye bye. Ask her what. Oh, that's a K. Oh, God. I'm going to continue on it just to turn this fucking music off. Where'd you get over here? Oh, look. Damn. Alright, I guess. I'm trying to close that way to fuck back up. I need to snooze the server again. I didn't realize it had been an hour already. Come on. Oh no, I still have time. I still have two minutes. It's fine. I'm ready to be done with this game. Can we turn this volume down now? Shit's kinda loud. There we go. I'm starting to hurt my ears. I believe those were there a second ago, were they? Did I walk right past these guys? No, I would have seen them. Alright, cool. Still can't run. He got mad, now he's ruining his drawing. Alright, now I'm getting annoyed. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. The child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? I thought those were tentacles. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool wallpaper. Show yourself. Show yourself. What happened to my flashlight? Well, 
like Kids broke in today. It's been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. Couldn't help myself. I was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh, the boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirling in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought within me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Oh, hey, look, it's the witch. Shit's gonna pop out. It's gonna scare the shit out of me. I know it. I know it. I can't see a fucking thing. Eyes without sparkle. She looked angry. Okay, I guess. Can we shut that shit off? Oh. It's a great one. Okay. Let's make sure the back kid's saving. Kids on the slide. Hey, look, he is missing a shoe. Cal. Cal. Uh oh, it's Chad. I like your shirt. That's a cool ass shirt the kids wear. Oh. Oh man. Lorraine, Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. What's that guy? It's the guy from the Take beginning. A deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Well, alrighty then. We have beaten the park. 
We'll have to add this to the Discord channel of Beaten Games. Um, yeah, so I found it a little annoying that you couldn't always run when you wanted to. Um, a lot of walking. Some good jump scares. I got I got jump scared a couple of times, so that was kind of cool. Um, crazy ending, I guess to be expected, but um, it was all right. This is our first beaten game of Spooky Ween because of. Um, moving for the first, like, two weeks. We probably could have ended this game probably, like, 30 minutes sooner if I wasn't such a pansy, but, but that's either here. But, uh, because I've moved the first two weeks, I probably will extend Spooky Ween into November. Oh, thank you. I gotta figure out when to do FNAF. Yeah, I've seen somebody play FNAF, and I'm just like, I, I can't. Because the whole looking back and forth thing, between the doors and the, the cameras, it's too much fun. I'm, I'm clicking. I'm clicking game, relax. Um, some of the parts seemed a little weird, but oh well, good story. That lady was nuts. But it's perfect because now we've beaten the game. Two hours, 23 minutes, and... Am I dropping frames? Okay, not bad, okay. Now we don't have to pick it up again because King wanted to do Borderlands, so that works out perfect. But yeah, so we beat the game. That was cool. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out and uh, chilling with me. Let's go find. Let's go find somebody to raid. Morphe, are you going live now? Because I'll just raid you if you are. Doe is, Do is currently streaming, but they've been up. Oh, they're doing with Melody. Very cool. Um, oh, there's a lot of people on tonight. Let's see, who are we raiding? Did you find somebody small to raid? No, I got away. Okay. Let's find similar or smaller sizes. Alright, I guess we can go read him. Esper's pretty cool. He's one of Doom's friends. Let's go start the raid. Alright guys, I appreciate everything you've done. Hanging out with me. Uh, well, I jump and scream. Well, I try not to scream because the kids are asleep, but you know how it be. I uh, hope you have a great night. I will see you guys 